Alright guys, welcome to a brand new Doctor Who action figure review by me. And as you can see, today it is off the recently released 13th Doctor action figure released as part of the 5 inch or 5.5 or 14 centimeter scale by Character Options. Now, this has some new packaging as, you know, that's what happens every few years. You have the new Doctor Who logo at the top. You have the TARDIS and basically the rest of it is very simple. Overall, I quite like the packaging. It just says at the bottom as well what this figure is. So it's 13th Doctor action figure, 5.5, 14 centimeter scale. It gives you a little description of what accessory is in this as well. So it just says here with sonic screwdriver accessory and yeah, overall, I quite like the packaging used for this. It reminds me a little bit of the packaging which was used many, 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 many years ago uh, with the uh, first batch of uh, five-inch figures which were released by Character Options. And if you're old enough to remember that, then high five. I remember collecting them back in the day. Uh, so overall, I, I quite like this packaging and I'm looking forward to seeing the packaging um, for future releases. On the back it just gives you uh, some advertisement for uh, other items which are available right now. So available in stores now, electronic sonic screwdriver and 10 inch or 26 centimeter scale 13th Doctor figure. Yes, she also comes in the 10 inch scale. I didn't bother getting that. I just thought I'd get this. And it just tells you there, uh, if you want to pause the video, just a little bit about the program and about uh, the 13th Doctor. So overall, I, I really like the packaging. But we're not here to talk about the packaging. We are here to talk about the figure itself. So let's actually open the box up and take a look at the figure more in depth. So here is the figure out of the box and I've got to say out of the box and in hand she looks very impressive. Uh, so, as always, let's actually take a look at the figure, uh, if we just have a close-up. I think that the likeness for Jodie is uh, very good. I've always thought that the hair looked a little bit weird, like from the pictures that I saw. But, actually having her in hand, it's, it's actually much better, I'll say that. And just holding her now is, um, is really good, obviously... It looks like how she looks on screen. Um, she's wearing a black shirt with the rainbow pattern on top, just there. And you've still got like the rainbow patterns like just on the ends of her coat there. The coat is very nicely detailed, you've got all the creases, you got the hood at the back, you got the inside of the hood which is like a dark blue. And You've just got a little bit of lining there, and if I just move that, you can see a little bit more here with the pockets. Um, the pockets aren't open, they've just like sort of been painted on, if you will. But I think for the most part, it really captures uh, the look of the 13th Doctor. It's a very good representation of what we saw in the program and yeah at the bottom there you've just got what looks like I'd say dark blue just at the bottom of the coat here the coat isn't removable as far as I know um, no it's not removable so don't try and remove it and yeah you can just see the inside of the coat it's again a dark blue similar to how uh, the inside of Capaldi's jacket was uh, red, seeing as a lot of his had like a red lining inside and or whatever it was. Um, so yeah, overall, I think for detail, it's uh, very good. And obviously, 
just going down here you've got the trousers just sort of blue trousers not much going on you don't see a lot of splodges like of dirt or anything like that and there's not that many creases and not that many mixes of colors it's just all one plain color of just blue um, obviously you got a little bit of creases around here um, but just going down here it sort of ends because you see the doctor's ankles because that is how the uh, costume was worn in uh, the show and here you have uh, her boots the boots are very nicely detailed just painted brown with a little bit of washes of, of brown over it to give it that like leather look and has laces on the shoes too and you can just see part of her socks just uh, creeping out from the top of the uh, boots there so overall yeah it's really good I'm actually quite impressed with this the, the only thing which is quite odd is the parting in the hair but having said that it's not as bad as I thought it was and again you can see her earrings there too so yeah I'm, I'm noticing quite a lot of things on this figure as I'm looking at this because this is literally the first time that I've had it in hand so overall it does get a seal of approval for me and I think the likeness for uh, Jodie is pretty spot on so that is the detailing for the figure and as you saw at the beginning with the uh, the box or the unboxing part it says that it comes with a sonic screwdriver here is a sonic screwdriver so not that much to talk about really um, I'm not really sure what to make of this design to be honest with you um, I mean it's alright it does the job they've just painted it silver and they've got a little bit of this yellow on there and obviously at the tip because that is the colour of a sonic screwdriver and it should fit very snuggly in her hand so sort of does the job just realise it's, it's very bendy um, the sonic screwdriver so it's not as strong as the uh, sonic screwdrivers which were used for the 11th doctor figures it's very much akin to how the 10th doctor's sonic screwdriver was so again it sort of harkens back to the early days of uh, these uh, action figures which were released in this line almost 15 years ago now going off by articulation I'm sure that there's quite a few things to talk about here the head actually can do a 360 degree turn and it seems very seamless uh, it's not really hard to turn around all that much and it can move a little bit from side to side as well um, not that I think it's meant to because uh, I don't think they make hinges like that for these figures but overall it does that it's very easy to do it it's not hindered by any thing around the neck so it's easy to do that it's nothing like the first doctor or second doctor figures um, arms they can do a 360 degree turn they can't move out to the side so they're not ball jointed at the shoulders the biceps can well, I suppose they can go all the way around I won't do that for this um, the elbows can move up and down the wrists can do in a 360 degree turn you know, it's pretty usual stuff really um, legs can move forward can't really move back because of the coat uh, knees can bend and legs can move out a little bit side to side boots is there any articulation at the boots I don't think so no there's no articulation at the boots um, so overall I think the articulation is very it's not the most articulated figure that has ever been released in the line 
And I think the reason for that is because this figure reuses parts from pre-existing figures and character options are known to do that, especially with recent releases, with the BNM sets. So that sort of makes sense and for the most part, I mean it's not really noticeable to the average viewer, um, but I think they've reused certain parts from pre-existing figures. I believe it might be a Martha Jones figure, I could be mistaken, I'm, I've not really done my research to be honest with you, so it could be that figure, it could be another figure, whatever. Uh, end of the day, I don't really mind that uh, she doesn't have ball jointed shoulders like uh, some of the newer figures have had in the past, so I can sort of live with that, but to be honest with you, I'm really impressed. It does the job. She can pose uh, Sonic Screwdriver about, she can whiz her arm about, all of that. It's very poseable at the end of the day, so I'm very pleased with that. And now, let's do a comparison. So here she is with the 10th Doctor figure from the 11th Doctor set, and they look more or less exactly the same size. I'm not sure if that is totally accurate. I mean, if we put a 12th Doctor next to her, then we can see that he looks huge, not just compared to Jodie, but to both of the figures, uh, which is incorrect anyway, because this figure, all 12th Doctor 5-inch figures, were way too tall to start with. So... End of the day, I think that uh, Jodie is in scale. I believe that she may have, she may be shorter than uh, David Tennant's Doctor and Peter Capaldi's Doctor, but it doesn't look too out of place, to be honest with you. So again, it's something which I can certainly live with. The more I look at it, the more I fall in love with this figure. I think it's just absolutely fantastic. I think. Character options have done a really good job, and it's really good to hear that the companions of the 13th Doctor are apparently getting a release sometime maybe later this year. We might get a uh, 13th Doctor's TARDIS as well. I'd like to see some uh, villains maybe get a figure released, uh, probably counting all my eggs in one basket there, probably might not ever happen, but it's good to dream. But overall, for now, I'm really pleased with this 13th Doctor action figure and hopefully we can see much more of these figures make an appearance once again in the near future. I highly recommend this figure if you're just a fan of Doctor Who and especially if you're a fan of the new 13th Doctor. Stay tuned for more action figure reviews on this channel and apologies if you was ever waiting for that review of the third Doctor and the TARDIS last year which from BNM never reviewed that because I never ever got that I just could never ever find that and I'm having the same problem now with the fourth Doctor and TARDIS set which has recently been released as part of the uh, BNM exclusives so don't expect them anytime soon have a great day and I shall see you next time Thank you.